Uh, we're going to turn our attention uh, to uh, a rather heartwarming story, really, because for the first time in more than 400 years, baby beavers have been born in urban London. So the family of the animals was introduced in a park in Ealing last year, and we can speak live now to Dr Sean McCormack, who's chair of the Ealing Wildlife Group. Uh, great to have you with us, Sean. You must be delighted at this. Why is this so significant? <laughs> Yeah, thanks for having me on. I'm uh, I'm basically a proud beaver granddaddy now. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm a, a be- a, I was a beaver daddy in October and I'm a beaver granddaddy now. Um, it's it's extremely significant and really heartening because this was quite um, a unique project. We're not the first beaver reintroduction project in London. Enfield in Greater London, kind of um, out on the Essex border, released beavers a year before us. Um, but that's quite a rural site and it's not publicly accessible and um, it's on a private kind of country estate. This is bringing beavers to the heart of urban London. So it was really unique. It was a, not without risk. Um, and the fact that they've had two babies now means that they're content, they're happy, they've settled in well. And the project, you know, it's a, it's a real measure of success that the community, which is at the heart of what we do, has accepted them. And they're getting on just fine, as we said they would, in you know towns and cities in the heart of our capital. They, they are incredible architects, aren't they? They do so much for the, for the habitat around them. Absolutely unbelievable. We've been so surprised. We kind of knew, you know, we're, we're total beaver nerds on this project now. We've been researching it and talking to people for several years to bring these beavers um, to Ealing. And um, we were actually still surprised by the rate at which they've changed the place. So they put in six dams so far and they're holding back um, floodwaters when we have flash flooding normally and high rainfall events. We've had the wettest winter on record and downstream of Paradise Fields, the site where they live, is a high risk um, area for flooding. So we put it to Ealing Council that the beavers could do the job that was already kind of earmarked on site with massive engineering works. Beavers would do it at a fraction of the cost in a much more environmentally friendly way um, and a sustainable way and also bringing the other benefits of improving the site for wildlife, um, alleviating flooding by holding back those floodwaters and, and heavy rainfall. And also, really, really importantly, engaging urban communities with nature and nature-based solutions and the value of having green space and a rewilding project on your doorstep because rewilding isn't just for the countryside. We, you know, the majority of us in England live in towns and cities. I think it's 83% of us. So um, we really think it's really important to have access to green space and access to nature. It's good for us to have it. Yeah, beavers all round good eggs, really, and they and the, the the baby beavers are called kits, which I only found out today. Uh, so, what happens next? What's the what's the plan going forward? Yeah, so we've got um, multi generational living is how beavers do it. They live in a colony group, so we've got mum and dad now, adolescent daughter, two kits from last year, and now at least two kits this year. And we've only seen two kind of simultaneously on our our cameras and by watching them, but there could be more. And um, so we're starting to build up a number of beavers. And what happens um, normally in beaver society is when a beaver is two or three years of age, they tend to move out of mum and dad's territory and try and find a territory of their own. Now, we had two options for our enclosure. We've given them a huge area of ideal habitat, probably about four times the recommended size um, for a family of beavers. So there was the option to bring in an unrelated male to pair up with the adolescent female but we've decided actually to take out the adolescent female and bring her to another project and uh, find her a boyfriend which is what the beaver trusts are helping us with right now so uh, um our project is is kind of not about you know restoring beavers across greater london it's a little bit ahead before that we're trying to kind of um reassure people you know this is a species that we're bringing back after four years absence 400 years absence and um, it's a species that we've forgotten how to live alongside and sometimes can cause some issues like localised flooding or a dam in the wrong place or chewing on the wrong tree, you know, things like that. So we're showing how we can live alongside them very easily. And um, that's the main kind of thrust of the project is education and hopefully changing hearts and minds. And hopefully in time, then some of our um, beaver generations will actually go out and start living wild and free lives, not in an enclosure. We love a little bit of good news. Thanks for joining us, Sean. Thanks for having me on. That is Dr. Sean McCormack, chair of the Ealing Wildlife Group. Uh, It is coming up to eight o'clock.